is Kayla Blowy. And I'm Mateo Lowy. We have a lot of questions about the world. But how do they um, do sex? How do they what? How do they do sex? Our parents say we're more than they can handle. Caleb, sharks don't eat humans on purpose. They eat them by accident. That's literally what I just said. Who wants to drive first? Me. Me. I was the one who asked to drive first. <laughs> All right. Pick a number between one and seven. Who right. wins? Come over here. So they basically decided to crowdsource parenting. Yeah. Ah! Go on. So when we asked them about sharks, they happily put us in a cage surrounded by great whites. Sharks! This is what I did to say, I see a shark. I see shark. Unfortunately for them, we came out of the cage asking more questions. So they called Dr. What's his name? <laughs> Let me do that again. So they called Dr. Craig O'Connell. I'm a shark conservationist. Also known as the Shark Doctor. <laughs> we run a really exciting program out here where we're doing a lot of research to try and conserve some of the local shark species. So we're not only taking youth out here in the water, but we're also working with some of the commercial fishermen and doing whatever we can to save Montauk's waters. How does a female shark choose um, which male she wants to make a baby with. She doesn't really get the choose. The males come up to the female and they bite the fin of the female, right? They turn that female over into tonic immobility. So the shark pretty much goes to sleep and then they mate. Huh. It's pretty crazy, huh? And inappropriate. In the two days we spent with Dr. Craig, we learned how scientists study sharks. Cool, huh? How many people get to look inside of a shark's mouth like that? Something else I learned while doing my research, when you capture sharks, they get really stressed out and sometimes they don't survive. So we as scientists are kind of learning new ways to capture and tag these animals so that these animals can swim off and be happy. Scientists tag sharks to figure out who's who, where they go, and how to save them. One more? Yes! We tagged it, guys! This is the problem with sport fishing for sharks. Is a lot of people don't want to deal with the animals after they hook them, and they just cut the line, and this animal will have a bunch of hooks in its mouth, and it's going to get sick from it. So we got one hook removed. Oh, 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 got it. Good bye. Okay, that's right. it. That's it. Watch out, guys. Tail rope. We let her go? Yeah, let, her, let him go. Healthy, happy, hookless, and tagged. That's beautiful. Good job. Good job. All right. Dr. Craig also showed us another gadget scientists use to study sharks called fin cams. The fin cam is really cool. It allows us to see exactly what the shark is seeing. So we're putting them on a lot of animals and it lets us know how these animals survive. If there's other sharks in the area, we'll be able to identify those sharks and learn what's in their environment. Fin cams are also really hard to get on a fish. Oh. He's coming this way. Coming this way. Oh, that was close. Oh, that's too far. Let's keep him, keep him. Turn. Our high point of the day was getting all the hooks out of the shark's mouth. And our low point of the day was something really heartbreaking. What happened, Mateo? They thought it was funny to kill someone, a living creature. Would you think it was funny if someone Killed you and left? No. Oh, they're gonna make shark fin soup, Dad. They're not gonna make shark fin soup. Then why are they cutting off its shark its fins? Dr. Craig said that the thresher sharks are not endangered, but are vulnerable like the gray whites. The fishermen who caught the shark were licensed, so there was nothing illegal with what they did. But it still made us sad. Our parents say that we are stewards of this planet. What's a steward? Our parents are basically saying that we're taking care of this planet. Hmm, it's on like rain. Taking care of flowers. Are you just acting for it? No, that's actually true. Rain is a steward to flowers. <laughs> and leaves. <laughs> and plants. And animals. 
As always, we end our day with a family tradition of losing another kid.